My name is Martin Jensen. I'm a senior scientist at the Department of Food Science at Aarhus University. And today we are here to talk about Aronia. So why is Aronia of interest to grow? Uh, well, the first you can see here is that the, the, the crop is very, very uh, uh, healthy. It doesn't get many diseases, uh, so you can almost grow it uh, organically without the big problems. Uh, um, what is special with Aronia is also the color of the berries. Uh, they are very highly colored. Uh, the anthocyanin content is very, very high, uh, about maybe five times as high as blackcurrant uh, and, and uh, sour cherries, which is also used for, for colored juices. So for juice production, this is interesting because of the high color co content. Um, Another thing that is uh, interesting is uh, the potential health effect aspects of this uh, species. Um, in clinical studies, it's been uh, indicated to have an effect on cholesterol level, um, maybe reducing the cholesterol level in, uh, in metabolic syndrome patients by up to 8% over a few months period uh, when you eat uh, these berries. Uh, so in terms of health, it's, it's quite promising uh, berries also. It is uh, often talked to uh, as a superfruit, uh, or in, in referred to as a superfruit, and this, uh, of, of course, is uh, interesting to pursue in the future also in terms of science uh, uh, and getting the proof for this. The sensory profile is quite challenging in this species. Uh, from nature, uh, the berries can be uh, slightly astringent uh, when mature, uh, and also the acidity is not uh, high enough to give a, a very, very good profile. So we've been looking into um, and investigating what, uh, how the uh, cultivars and the harvest time and the processing methods would affect uh, the quality and the sensory profile of these uh, berries. Mm. So defining the optimum uh, harvest time would be uh, in the first part of September for this. Um, so when we're processing, um, we find that, uh, that if you pre-freeze the berries before you do the pressing of the juice, you would uh, find that, uh, that the, the freezing in itself uh, eliminates some of the astringent taste, so it gives a much milder uh, type of, uh, of taste and, and preferences. So this is definitely preferential to, to perform. Um, in conclusion, we think that uh, this barrier uh, production should be increasing in the future. Uh, the ability to produce it organically is a very high interest to the fruit and berry crop industry in general. Um, and it offers the chance to develop a, a, a number of new products uh, based as a, a juice, a mixed or in a pure product, uh, as a food colorant uh, and as a functional ingredient uh, also based on the antioxidant capacity. And in the end, we also should try to um, exploit the health effects that have been given us as a promise in this period.